All right, hey guys, it's Ms. Vile here again. Um, it's my job today to be here to explain to you what a Venn diagram is. You might have seen this in your packet and you're like, what is this? Um, a Venn diagram is a really awesome thing and I'll explain why. First of all, it starts with a V and Ms. Vile's name starts with a V, so that's pretty awesome. But it's also there to help you organize your thoughts and ideas and compare and contrast two different things. So I'm gonna show you what I mean by that. All right, this is what your, your Venn diagram looks like. You've got nonfiction and fiction. I'm going to use something different just to explain how to use a Venn diagram, and then we'll get back to that. All right, first things first, I want to introduce you to my friend Gerald. Everybody say, hi, Gerald. I know you guys have seen him before. He is in the Elephant and Piggy books. Those are my favorite. So here's Elephant, and we call him Gerald, and let's see if we can describe some things about Gerald, some things that we notice about him. I'm gonna use things like, well, he's an elephant, he's blue, and he wears glasses. So those are my facts and traits about him. Now, I'm gonna introduce you to his friend, Piggy. You guys know Piggy. Now, I'm gonna describe Piggy. Piggy's different than Gerald, right? Doesn't look the same, doesn't act the same. Piggy is, well, a pig, She's pink, and she's a girl, which is different than Gerald. I don't know if you guys knew that. Now, this is what we have now. We've got Gerald, and we've got Piggy. Now, I'm going to put those two things together to compare and contrast, which means to look at the similarities, the things that are the same, and the differences, the things that are different. So let's take a look. I put those two circles together. I actually overlapped them a little bit. You can see that the Venn diagram, those two circles, have that overlapped section, that piece in the middle. Now, that piece in the middle is meant for things that are the same. Now, we have Gerald and we have Piggy, and you might not think they have something in the same or something similar right off the bat, but you got to kind of think, okay? So I came up with just a few. I know that they are both animals. They both have ears, right? And they both have tails. So this is just a super simple way to explain to you guys the, the Venn diagram, all right? Now, it's going to be different for fiction and nonfiction. So it's just based on what we're putting in the Venn diagram, but it's going to be the same thing. Gonna, oh, yep, look, there they are in the book. All right, so back to nonfiction and fiction. So like I said, both sides of the Venn diagram are different, okay? And in the middle is what's the same. So I am going to show you kind of some things that I came up with that fiction and nonfiction books are, the, how they're different and how they're the same. So here's what I got. I've got read for fun. Now, usually fiction books are meant for pleasure, meant to just read for fun. But nonfiction are more to learn, right? So we read to learn things in nonfiction books. All right, problem and solution. Fiction books usually have a problem, right? There's always somebody losing something or something goes wrong or something happens and they gotta fix it. Nonfiction books, they're just full of facts, right? We learn lots of cool things in those books. All right, we've got fiction tells a story in a specific order. We've talked so much about that. You can't really open up a fiction book and, and follow along, right? But if you open up a nonfiction book, you can pick up where you left off. You can pick up in the middle of the book or in the end. It doesn't really matter because they're all full of facts. So they can be read in almost any order. All right, characters. Fiction books have characters. All right, and nonfiction books, they have lots of text features, right? We have talked about that so much, guys. Remember, we've got headings, table of contents, all that good stuff. There'll be more to come with that for this week and just as a review. So keep that in mind. Then, We've got the things that are the same, right? So fiction and nonfiction can both be books. So that's a great example of something that's the same, something that they both have in common. And pictures, okay? So fiction books sometimes have illustrations or they have different kinds of pictures and photographs than nonfiction books, but they both have pictures. So that's another great way and another great thing that they have in common. So this is just some ideas. You can use these. Come up with more, please, because I know there's tons more. I just did a couple examples. Um, this is, again, a Venn diagram. Let me know if you have questions. It is your turn, so go ahead and get started on that activity that we've got sent there for you. Have a good day.